and welcome back to more projects on boy trailer trash let's get this thing inside and then we can start the long laborious process of emptying this trailer okay this is the haul we got from the country club let's sort it by weight ascending that way we can see all the super lightweight things first and we can just sort of rip those out. Okay, so everything above the chrome sink there should be less than five. Can we get this in our bag? Okay, that's working. Okay, so now the question is what here can we actually put in certain places so we don't have to keep juggling this stuff around? Okay, this, this metal sheets that we know that's staying down here, so let's start with that. So we can just dump that here and our metal supply is looking good. What else have we got? Uh, oh, the small metal sheets, they can go as well. I think we actually use some of that for maybe our solar. What else can we get rid of? Okay, that TV we can put up in our bedroom. These paintings are pretty light. Yeah, so we're just going to be running back and forth from the truck all day. Uh, let's check these downstairs windows, make sure that they're all still secure. Yep, we still have no plans for these rooms down here. Yeah, we'll dump off some of the clothes we don't need. Like I said, the goal is going to be to try to get things to where they're heading to, but some things we haven't decided what's going where, so... We're getting quite an extensive collection of carpet and tiles and flooring. Boy, this room could still use a lot of work. I don't think I'm going to have a dedicated media room yet, so this TV can stay in what's going to be our bedroom. lost the light bulb. Like I said, we're expecting to lose one a day. That's pretty much our, our quota. Okay, so if we sort this by category, we can then pull out all the electrical and the aluminium. It's just kind of annoying that aluminium doesn't go with the electrical goods, even though it basically only does electrical. Yep, let's get this all out. What else have we got? Okay, the bucket can go sit on the roof. We might actually go down and wash our cars later today. Um, okay, I see books, comic books. Yep, they can all go in our little library. One of our cuter rooms at the moment. I guess the, the walls do need some bleaching. We're going to fix some of these cracks. Maybe a low table. I think I prefer these bookshelves in that they're, you can path through them. Whereas the other ones are path blocking. So we wouldn't be able to actually get in and out of here if this bookshelf was path blocking. Let's dump this food off. This room definitely needs some work. Um, I don't like a lot of this gas station looking stuff. And this room needs a lot of work. We're going to have to deploy all that bleach we found at the country club. I'm just going to get this out of my inventory for the moment. So I grabbed this little spiffo bag thinking I'd make just like a, a simple around the house bag uh, as opposed to our big adventuring backpack but our backpack's light enough and at the moment we do need the extra carrying capacity. Hence why we're running around with three backpacks I guess. So while we're doing this we're going to have to occasionally head upstairs and do some exercise or forage or lounge around or else we're going to get crippling 
depression. How are these batteries looking? Okay, that one's empty. And this one's full. Okay, so we did eventually figure out how the car battery charger works. We have to actually place it on the ground, not just drop it. Then we connect a battery to it, and then we turn it on. So there's a couple of steps involved. Uh, honestly, it's probably easier just to put the battery into a car, and the car will charge it as long as it's in a power grid. You look at the size of these stacks. 200, 200, 80, 60. I mean, it's, it's all got to come out. Question of whether we can do it in a, in a more efficient manner, where we don't have to juggle it to multiple places. We're really just going to dump things wherever, wherever we can make them fit, unless we thought of somewhere better to put something. At the moment, I'd have to say this little command center is my favorite room. Uh, though we do need to still do a bunch of work here, get rid of those cracks, maybe put some more things down. One day this roof is going to look amazing, but we are still quite a ways off that. For now we've got to get everything out of this truck so that we can take it back to the country club and do some more looting. I know we might do a little bit of exercise. And we can even do some foraging up here. It's not even so much about finding things, it's just about going for a bit of a walk outside and getting rid of our boredom. When we eventually get the big wall up around our base, we'll be able to do a lot more secure foraging. That's enough charge. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about taking all the light stuff out. We still have very almost a thousand encumbrance worth of stuff in here, and these, you know, juggling them in these little pissy bags is not going to do a great deal. Okay, so I, I really probably need to start thinking about where these are going to go. We grabbed a lot of these. Any water needs to go on that outside wall. Now I did get a suggestion that destroying the top tiles 
then destroying the, the bottom flooring under that might remove the, the dirt effect from the tile. That's really interesting, and I do want to try it, but I don't want to try it on the third floor of building. Uh, just because of the presumably small chance of falling through the ground and killing myself. So we'll try that downstairs somewhere. And while I have a bunch of bleach, we'll, we'll use that. I mean, there's the question of whether I clean tiles that you can't really see, or do I triage and not bother with that, but yeah, that does really make those floor tiles pop a lot more. So that's early. Okay, we're good. I guess while we've got the bleach in hand, might as well use it. Where else needs some love and even though the carpet covers a lot of it, I know it's there. bathroom. This will maybe go around and now do all the walls. They're more noticeable on the flooring. See if that leaves us any bleach left. I missed that door frame. Did the hallway? So we've got the armory here, the probably workshop here, and our bedroom. I guess the bedroom probably takes priority there. Oh, well, I didn't realize it took the graffiti off. Interesting. Probably already cleaned some graffiti and just not noticed it because I am a bit of an idiot. It would be nice if um, this game had like decor bonuses, like say oxygen not included, where being around nicer stuff made you intrinsically happier and that sort of thing. Like sleeping in, sleeping in what essentially looked like a, a crack house. Um, I, yeah, I could see how that might have made us, uh, or, or spending days and days and I can see how that might make us unhappy whereas once this place is nice it's going to be nice and yet spending time inside is going to emotionally cripple us because I guess whatever okay so maybe we uh, try flooring this place first though I think I'm going to entirely destroy these tables I think I just want to destroy them I am um, they're not even the nice looking picnic tables This is looking very flattered at the moment, so I'm going to have to adjust that. Fill the beige tiles out of there. Probably got a big store of these already. Hey, there we go. That's better. Got one spare. Might have been one or two left down in the car. Uh, I'm going to bring up anything else that's going to go in this room, and then I think we'll try to finish this off. Because I believe we've probably got everything we want. We've got a, a fridge we want, we don't have, but we do have a basic plain fridge. Hopefully this has not got those alternate tile sets still. I, I set up that popsicle fridge somewhere over here, but it's um it's then gonna be drawing power. And I don't think our solar grid is, is capable of dealing with that just yet.
Though I accept that it would have been more cinematic to sort of do, hey, today we're working on this room, today we're working on this room, but um, the practicalities of storing things as you bring them back make that a little bit more difficult. Put down there, that there, we wouldn't be able to walk through it, so that's got to go at least one more to there. Water can go anywhere along here, but this, it doesn't look good in the corner, no one would set up a sink like that. So we have an extractor hood here. That probably needs to go up against this wall. Yes, now it is only hooked up to one of the 400 barrels, not one of the 800 barrels. So that 800 sort of just sitting there not doing anything, but that's fine. Oh, from memory, that didn't like going under the under the hood, despite us finding it under one. Unfortunately, again, unless I'm using it wrong, it's listed in the oven category, but it can't be turned on. Uh, I don't know, maybe I have to put oil in it or something. That would make sense. I just, I'd just be surprised if the game's that, uh, that in-depth. Honestly, this room might need to be a little bigger. Or I need to not be trying to make an industrial kitchen. That'd be better. No, you'd have them facing inwards, so all the so all the openings are on that side, yeah. Now, if I put a, a second set here, then I wouldn't be able to access anything. Normal toaster in the corner of the room where you'll never use it and it'll get dusty. And you'll throw it out, and then one day you'll be like, why don't I own a toaster? I like toast. Now that I think about it, I do like toast. Why don't I? Well, you can cook toast in a frying pan. This is going to be a pain to move all of this. I'm not even pick this stuff up. Oh, interesting. If that doesn't let me pick that up, then I may have to go for the sledgehammer and rebuild floor. Hmm, interesting. It's not letting me put tiles there, and it's not letting me pick it up. Okay, I didn't want to do this, but uh, it forced my hand. Um, I also really, really don't want to fall through the floor. Some items to repair. Okay, so let's see if this works. Looks like I don't have to destroy the floor, I just have to build over it. That's a lot safer. Let's try carpeting this. Um, I haven't done the back of the envelope maths yet, but I don't think I will have enough. I've got, I think I've like 38 of this. And this room looks more like more than 5 by 8. So unless I have enough carpet to do all of this, I might leave the room in this half and half state. Okay, everybody, some good progress on the rooms today, but I'm going to leave it here. You all have a great day.